In this video, you'll learn how to quickly get started using TradingView signals with Alt Trader. First things first, we're going to go over to Bots. We're going to go Create Bot, and then we're going to click on Signal Bot. We're going to set our signal to Webhook. We don't need to use these just yet, but we will in just a moment. In this example, we're using a paper account, but the setup is exactly the same when using a live account. Our currency is going to be USDT. Give our bot a useful name. We're going to set our max positions to 100 and 10. Leave the rest of these values as default, including the cooldown settings. We're going to set our entries to a fixed amount. In this example, 20 US dollars. We're going to leave these as standard. Our take profit is going to be signal. And these are also going to be standard. And that's it. Press save. And now before we close this menu, we're going to go over to trading view. So first things first, we're going to go up to indicators, type in emu moon. We're going to add the symbol searcher and the latest version of the advanced DCA tool. Okay, so now we've got our symbol searcher on our chart. We can look at our top picks area and take a look at coins that have positive, negative and neutral correlation to BTC. We're going to go ahead and pick the top performing coins from each of these groups. So we've got IMX, Auction and XVS. Obviously, you'll want to spend a lot more time than me researching the coin, checking out their official website and what their project is all about to make sure it's something you're happy investing in. So we're going to go up to the top left, type in our first coin, and we're trading spot on Binance. So make sure that your data is provided by the exchange that you're using. And now we can get rid of the symbol searcher. We don't need that anymore. We can add the fans DCA tool to our chart. Okay, so once things are plotted on our chart, we can go ahead check out the performance over time here we can see our base orders our safety orders and our exit orders we can also see our average price paid in orange and our take profit value in green we can also go ahead and look at the strategy tester to see the performance over time once we're happy with this we can go up to the settings make sure that our base order and safety order match alt trady and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy our api key into our first field and our secret key into the second field. We can see at the bottom of our screen, the message says platform auto selected alt trady. Please select an exchange. Let's just go ahead and select Binance. Make sure that Binance is our selected exchange. And now it says platform auto selected alt trady Binance. It also says ready to live trade. Go ahead and set your start time to 1813 on the 17th of the 6th, 2024. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So 18.13 on the 17th of the 6th, 2024. Hit okay. And now it says you have 14 minutes to create an alert. So we're gonna go up to the top right hand side, hit alerts, create new, or you can press Alt A. So press Alt A. Condition, we're gonna change this to the advanced DCA tool, order fills and alert function calls, expiration, we're gonna set this to open-ended if available, otherwise set it to the furthest date in the future. Alert name, we're going to call it something useful and we're going to leave our message as two curly open brackets, capital M for message and two curly close brackets. Now in notifications, enter this URL address. You can get it from Alt Trady's official website and make sure that this box is ticked. I quite like to be notified in app and as pop-ups. I don't really like emails. We're going to press create. You can see in the top right here, we have our alert that's been created. And as the alerts come through over time, we'll see our alerts log populated. And you can also export to .csv files, which can be really useful if you're wanting to track your trades over time. If we head back to Alt Trady and click on View Details, we don't have any open positions yet. And now we're just going to wait for our trading view alert to come through. So in the meantime, we could be setting up more alerts for our other two coins. But for the purposes of this, we're just going to let this one run through. And then we'll set up alerts for our remaining two coins afterwards. I do always recommend setting up one alert to begin with, just to make sure that things are running smoothly. Okay, and there's our alert. So you'll notice we've now got a base order on our chart. And if we go to Alt Trady and refresh our page, we can see our position in progress. If we give it a click, we can also see our entry price and some additional information here. So if we go back to Trading View now and we set up alerts for our remaining two coins, which are auction, and I'm just gonna adjust the time ever so slightly. You wanna make sure that there's no base orders or safety orders plotted on your chart. Create new alert, you can press Alt A, go through the exact same process as before, and then press create. 
and our last coin which is xvs add it to your chart make sure that there's no green triangles and the chart is clean again same process as before fill out all the details create our new alerts have been created in the top right and in just a few minutes we'll have our alerts trigger and our positions will open on alt trading okay and there's our remaining alert so if we go over to alt trading now and go back to bots and view deals and now we've got all three of our coins we can also have a look at positions here we've got additional information we can also go ahead click on the coins we can see our entry positions a little uh, green triangle there we've got charts for each of them that's pretty much it for today's video thanks very much for watching cheers bye